Hello everyone and welcome to the Kyle Davis vlog number 24. I would like to uh, thank Mr. Scott Murdoch for his fun stories uh, in the vlog number 23. And also it's always fun to have Smack uh, come around and, and add in his insight. <laughs> yes, insight. <laughs> Uh, as I mentioned last time on my solo vlog, uh, we were in 2007, and that was a uh, that was definitely an interesting year, both for me uh, personally uh, in my road tripping, uh, as well uh, as on a national level. Uh, it, it's been uh, no secret uh, that my uh, that uh, up until that point, anyway, uh, my favorite wrestler uh, in the world was Chris Benoit. He was, uh, uh, I just always enjoyed, uh, his work, uh, you know, I was, I was, uh, I was definitely not shy about, about how big of a fan I was, uh, from even back when he was in WCW and ECW and even Japan, uh, and I very vividly remember, uh, the new, getting the news of, of him dying, uh, and it was, uh, uh, I was very uh, shocked. Obviously, anybody who says they weren't shocked is is lying, and uh, it turned into a huge uh, media circus uh, all over all over TV, all over any news outlet. Uh, it was uh, it was crazy, and it was a lot of negative attention. Obviously, uh, in in the world that that I was involved in, uh, on a much lesser scale, uh, and uh, it's funny. They they did the whole gimmick where he got uh, traded to ECW uh, from uh, from SmackDown I think is what it was and uh, they were actually going to be in Dallas doing a super show yeah they they did a Dallas super show that next Monday and uh, and I remember I was uh, pretty bummed out because he he had gotten moved to ECW so it was unlikely. Uh, it was it wasn't as likely I guess that he would have been on the show in Dallas so I, I remember being upset about that like a month previous and then the week before the show you know all that stuff happened so I thought that was kind of ironic uh, I, I never got super upset about it or whatever not like I knew the guy personally but it was very uh, very sad obviously so that that was uh, that was something that I you know, looking back on I horrible obviously horrible uh, I just wanted to touch on that during this time period of a uh, of 2007. Um, 2007, especially during the summer, mostly consisted of uh, of being out in Marshall. I mean, really, that's <laughs> that's what we were doing out there most of the time. Uh, I wasn't as in, I wasn't really involved in, uh, on uncut or uh, full throttle uh, at all. I think we did maybe one out of six full throttle shows. Like maybe we were on there one every six times or whatever. Just we were never uh, uh, featured or in a prime role or whatever, which was fine because the full throttle shows were were stacked as it were. Um. I just posted a picture on Facebook of a night that I don't even remember from uh, May of 07. Uh, I was managing Macho Mike against uh, against Tadlock. I had I don't even remember that match happening aside from from the pictures. Uh, so that 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 I just I can't believe that there's stuff now that I don't remember. I just I never thought that would happen. Uh, there was also a night we uh, let's see Macho Mike faced. Uh, Diamond Dave around this time, and uh, <laughs> uh, I got I got the cue mixed up, and I pushed Diamond Dave off the top rope too early. Uh, I just messed up the spot, and uh, the referee saw it, of course, and uh, and uh, we got disqualified. So that was probably one of my biggest blunders. Uh, oops, didn't mean for that to happen, but that stuff that stuff happens. I remember getting on the ring apron and telling Michael Williams to uh, throw me out, throw me out, you know, throw me out of the, and he just disqualified me, which was whatever. It, it was my fault, not his. Um, and also around that time, uh, Macho Mike faced Gigolo, and I'm pretty sure this was on full throttle, uh, and. Uh, 
he he set up for Macho Mike to take the climax kick. So 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 Macho Mike was straddling the uh, the the second rope like you would if you were taking six one nine. And uh, and I took the drop toe hold too. And I was me and Macho Mike were like this side by side, you know, in the six one nine position or whatever. And Jigolo slid out and kicked us both right in the face. <laughs> and what I remember about that specifically, and I don't know if you'll remember this, James. Uh, the only time I w the only time I ever, uh, I ever thought, uh, that James might be upset with me, like, legitimately, and it was an accident, of course, was, uh, <laughs> I think two previous, two previous occasions on Uncut, uh, I missed a dive by Diamond Dave, just for stupid, uh, stupid mistakes. Uh, one of them is actually on YouTube. Uh, we were all supposed to gather around and catch up on a dive, and I, uh, I... I, I just I wasn't in anywhere near the position, but that was I didn't understand uh, why I should have stayed uh, at the time. I was thinking, you know, why would I stand next to these other guys without getting beat up myself? You know, so that's why I wasn't standing near them. Uh, it, it was like it was Texas Red, uh, Gigolo, uh, Code. Uh, uh, I can't remember the other people, but it's on YouTube. Anyway, so I figured Gigolo was kind of mad at me about that, so I was <laughs> taking the climax kick the next night, so I was a little bit nervous, but, uh, yeah, I felt bad, though. I felt really bad. Uh, I just, yeah, that that wasn't good. It happened, and it happened twice. <laughs> Oops. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I actually had to, uh, look up old PCW results from 2007 to kind of uh, remind me of some things that had happened uh, to kind of be relevant to the vlog because I just um, I just I was having a hard time remembering uh, you know like I said we were out in Marshall a lot um, we did uh, we did the Civic Center show in July on a Friday night an actual Friday night show um, it, we did a uh, it was like a six man scramble match for the Young Guns title. Tadlock, uh, Chance, Hayden, uh, Jay, <laughs> Mongoose, uh, probably Colton Shane or somebody, I don't know. Uh, the main event of that show was uh, Murdoch, Murdoch and Khan maybe, I don't even remember, but it was on a Friday night, it was really weird. And, uh, and then the next night on Saturday, we were back at the Dog Pound, and uh, Chance was the first uh, match. I forget who he faced, and I randomly went out with him. I don't know why we did that. I just, like, it, from the night before, there was nothing, and then the next night, he was out there, I was out there with him, and then just like that, uh, uh, the Lewis Enterprises idea was formed uh, along with Murdoch and Tadlock. I did. I don't know why. I don't really know how it happened. It just. It just did, which is what made it so cool. And we we did it for like seven or eight months in Marshall, which is you know, as far as longevity goes, that's actually saying something. And uh, it wasn't close to to the fun I had at SPW, but uh, with me, Chance, and and. Uh, Murdoch and Tadlock. It was such a dynamic of three completely different people that meshed well, so so well together. And I wish we could have done so much more with with that. Uh, I I had a lot of fun uh, doing that specifically. Uh, there there's a it, I don't know. I, I guess there's just something to be said for things just working without it being planned. Uh, you know. It, that we kept that going up until the next Civic Center show, where Chance faced Cordova in a hair versus hair match, uh, and Tadlock, Murdoch, and Spoiler faced uh, New Age Dog, Dalton, and Khan, and uh, that was I think that was the last big ACW Civic Center show. They did one recently, like on a Tuesday night or something, but eh, the crowd looked horrible from what I saw. So that is where I will uh, go in next time with the uh, Lewis Enterprises edition of of uh, the Kyle Davis vlog, which will be number 25. So it's our silver anniversary. If this were WrestleMania, we'd be going to Houston. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to uh, to uh, 
discussing Lewis Enterprises specifically, something that I really, I really uh, enjoyed and, and that's uh, very special to me. So once again, thank you all very much. This has been the Kyle Davis Vlog number 24. Thank you all very much. And as always, please subscribe to me on YouTube. My account number is Partly Normal Activity. My name on Twitter, of course, Lance Hardwood 25. I'm trying to get to 200 followers, at least by March. So that shouldn't be hard to do. Come on, Lance Hoyt has like 20,000. So that'd be great. So anyway, guys, thank you all very much, and I will see you soon.